Hello everyone and welcome back to the Walrus Plays Brotato. I have but one character left to try and play through before I am going to allow myself to try to unlock getting a hold of Ventir 5, the Danger Run 5 to unlock the last character. Now I'm hovering over the knight because they're the one I'm going to try completing Danger Run 5 with. So it is the Masochist. So you increase your damage as you take damage. Now, with a minus 100% damage, oh my goodness, I am going to do sweet naff all, aren't I? Goodness, okay. Since that I'm going to need quite a lot of HP by the looks of things, but also damage might also be a big thing, because I'm going to really need that as well. Right, okay. <clears throat> Let's see if, by using this ghost axe, that I can end up killing enough stuff that will help me actually do some damage because otherwise I'm gonna end up being pathetically weak I'm gonna really need to start stacking that damage boost but of course if I can start playing off of the ability of the masochist to increase the damage that might work um, you know what I'm gonna try a crit build ooh all three of those are good ooh 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 Okay, let's take the scared sausage first. <clears throat> let's see how well this goes. Okay, so I'm taking damage. That's fine. I want to take damage. Hurt me. Hurt me lots. I am the masochist. I want to feel pain. Pain. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting full Hellraiser vibes right now. But if I can keep slicing through enemies with the ghost axe, that will passively just improve my general overall damage percentage. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. Okay, so damage is 96 currently. So I've already gained two out of it, so that's all right. Okay, looks like we're off to the next wave again then. Oh yeah, the, the monkey ears are hilarious. I love them. Right, and again, now that I've got the scared sausage, and it means that there's a 25% chance that I'll, every time I hit something, I will set it on fire, which will do some damage over some time. My quandary is, if I can get four of them and have a 100% chance of, the, of igniting the enemy, can that actually help me do a decent amount of damage? I don't know. But also, I do kind of want to buff up the crit chance as well, because I think that will probably do me some favours. Okay, so if I flat increase the melee damage, I, my crit is still 7%, which I think is... Oh yeah, I'm still doing one damage, but I do two with my melee. Okay, because I've got some flat melee damage, I might be able to wrangle it by going pure melee stat rather than going with the damage multiplier. I wonder when the, the calculation is created. Is it that you do 100% of your damage and then it adds it? Or does it add 3 to it and then reduce it by 100%? Maybe it's off the base... I'm assuming it's probably off the base weapon stats. So if the base weapon stats is 2, and you decrease it to 1, but then you add 3 to it, or do you add 3 to it to take it to... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stop trying to do maths because, yeah... That hurts, and I'm never going to claim to be particularly good at maths. I'm all right at it, but, uh, I mean, mental maths, I can do some quick stuff. Never said it would be right, though. But um, I can do... Statistical probability is probably the thing that I'm actually probably best at, which is going to sound a little bit bizarre. But consider the fact that I have played tabletop wargaming like Warhammer... For the better part of, oh goodness, 30 years. That's a horrifying concept, isn't it? I have to remember how old I am now. And that's meant that I'm very good at high-speed mental maths because of the way that the points value of the game system was built around. And when it comes to the statistical likelihood of rolling something, that's kind of my jam. Ooh, I do like the claw. I Because it's a cool item. Not seen it yet and I'm gonna start stacking towards my crit chance anyway so screw it let's have a couple of claws they might be quite good and they'll also give me dodge which is good and I can't remember what the oh they're precise aren't they 
So that'll improve my critical hit chance. I wonder how effective multiple of them would be. Like, f like five or six precise weapons as well. Ooh, that would be tasty. But at the moment, I'm kind of relying on a stacking of dodge. Which isn't a bad thing, to be fair. Because, well, at the same time, I actually want to get hit. But I also don't want to get hit because I don't want to die. But I want to take damage to actually do vaguely decent amounts of damage. So this is going to be an interesting one. But as I proved in the previous run with the, the ability of Repost, being able to dodge an attack and then use Repost to, well, you just do damage to them. It works quite well. Let's take some life steal. We'll have more trees, because that's very sensible. We'll have that. Have some harvesting. And we'll take another ghost axe. So we've got 3% dodge from that. 18% Wow, okay. The the ghost weapons really do give you a lot of dodge, don't they? That is tasty. Hang on, do I start with armor? I do, I start with eight. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't think of that. Well, that's kind of handy. But I'm doing six damage from those, two from these. So their 15% is based on my attack speed. Ah, I thought they did damage based on your um crit. They don't. They do damage based on your attack speed, partly. Well, I can try and buff up the attack speed as well. I mean, that's not exactly an awful thing to try to work for. I guess for if they, if I did a high speed attack build, that would work well. Um, unfortunately, it's not a medical implement, so it doesn't really work out for our doctor friend so much. As, of course, they only get really big attack speeds when it comes to non Oh, sorry, when it comes to medical implements, which is, you know, it's a thing. Uh, but but uh, it's, it's all going all right so far. It's the the weird things like the fighting stick. that I didn't realize that it's based on the character level as well. It also increases your damage. So it's quite an interesting weapon, oh, particularly at higher levels. A tier 4 one, absolutely lethal for a stick. But hey, no. I'm not going to be too upset about a, a beating stick that does extreme damage. I'm going to recycle that. Let's take some attack speed, just because that might not be a bad shout. Um, let's have some more harvesting. Uh, ooh, lifesteal. Yes, please. And we've got decent regeneration, but let's keep buffing it. And we'll take another ghost axe. We'll take a lemonade. And I, I would like the defective steroids. They do sound fun. So I do have the ability to turn my Ghost Axes into a singular Tier 3 Ghost Axe, which might be something I do. I'm not sure at this point, because I would like to improve my damage a bit faster. And that might not be a bad shout. My damage reduction, ooh, that was close. I'm getting a little bit too... Um, this is the problem I'm having, is I'm being a little bit too blasé about the enemies because I'm aware that I need to get hit to increase my damage. But if I do get hit, of course, there's the risk of keeling over. So I need to put more points into the health regeneration and um, lifesteal, I think, is the other way of doing it. But I'm also looking at um, more of the food item healings. So there's a few ideas. But we'll have some more dodge. I mean, 31% isn't it totally terrible. Six melee damage. Yes, please. We'll take some of that. We'll take some more melee damage. Lifesteal and regen. Yeah, all right. We'll have that. And you know what? We'll let's take a little bit more negative. We'll have that. We'll have that. We'll have that. And we'll have that. Let's go. Next run. Ah, wave nine. So wave nine is always the run with the wave that I'm, I am kind of favor. Because it's uh, the wave where you can um, prune through so many enemies. I wish I'd been sensible and actually morphed my ghost blades into a singular item here. Although that would affect my dodge stat, which maybe that would have worked out better. I would have gained a slightly higher percentage chance of... My percentage chance, sorry. A slightly higher overall percentage of damage increase because I think it would take me to... 12 kills with a tier, or is it 16 kills for a tier 3 weapon? I can never remember off the top of my head. All the same, it's it would increase my overall damage gain from this a little bit, 
But at the same time, I'm still absolutely mullering them, which is good. I've got a, the damage is going up. And what's my damage at, at the moment? Okay, it's 129%. So that's not exactly bad. Because it does go up by five every time you take damage. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Um, let's do that. We'll have some speed. Uh, Reroll. More dodge. Thank you. We will take every item that there was there because that is good. Mm. Yeah, we'll take that. Right. So, what I'm going to try and do now. Oh, look at that. So, I'm actually at a, a good positive damage because of the melee damage that I've got going on there. Now, ah, uh, do I want to... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the glasses. I'm going to re-roll. Community support. We'll lock that. Lock that. Actually, we want all of those. I'm going to need to start stacking some luck now because we're getting some uh, items that are boosting my abilities based on luck. But again, the, the critical hit chance isn't terrible. and It's doing me some favours. The, the weapons I've got aren't exactly doing me any boosts based on my critical, but the the claw is giving me an increase on the critical likelihood. Which is nice, I guess. I don't know if the ghost weapons are the way to go with this run, but at least one of them is. I mean, the axe is generally doing me a lot of favours. I think what I'm going to do is, with the singular ghost axe that's in the shop, it's only a tier 1. That'll upgrade the other one to a tier... Well, one of the other tier 1s that I have. I have two. To a tier 2 item, which will then... I will upgrade to a tier 3, leaving me a single slot available to be filled with a weapon. Don't know what that weapon will be yet, but we will wait and see. This is building to be a very melee orientated run, which isn't exactly terrible. I can live with that. I'm going to take some luck. Okay, so we'll take that. Increase attack speed for a current enemy, but minus two armor. I'm going to have to be careful with that. I'm going to need more armor. That's definitely a thing. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting quandary, isn't it? I'll take another ghost axe. I will lock that flint in place, and I'll take the alien worm for more HP regeneration. So I've got like 30 HP regenerations. All right, I can deal with that. Now I'm going to have to be very careful about those horrible things, because I don't want to get hit by them. The weakest squidgy ones, yeah, I'm all right with that. But the big ones, no. I don't want to get hit by those. Keep the damage going. I mean, again, I'm just curious to see at some point. I'll have to another pause and see how much um, HP I've actually got. So I'm getting 4 HP from consumables, which is good. I mean, it's only 1 up from what it was, but I did have a plus 2. But I've taken the alien worm, which reduces it by another 1. So as long as I'm careful and don't take too many alien worms, I should be okay. Ooh, little loot goblin alien. Come here, die. Eat axe. Eat all of the axes. And again, I kind of need them all luck because then all that should give me a greater chance to heal myself every time I pick up a, a piece of material, which again is something I'm going to kind of do. So yeah, I mean, sitting there, minus five damage. I think that's because of the resetting at the end of the, the wave. Yeah, I'll take some attack speed. Yes, I'll take some of that. Yes, I'll take that. None of those. Yeah, we'll take some more luck. Now, do I want a gun? <laughs> I mean, kind of, yes. Also, stone skin for the win. Yes, we'll have that. I do kind of want the sniper gun because it's a great weapon. It's so effective. Um, I'm going to combine those two. I'm going to re-roll. You know, I'm not going to have that. I am, however, going to lock in the... I'm gonna, just going to go in for the next wave. There's two very high-value weapons that I want. Now, I'm going to try and buff up some of the range damage to at least to be zero. Um, so there's no negative, but the sniper gun is just one of those weapons. It's just so good. I love it It hits really hard. It's got a nice long range and when you hit things it does splash damage which Again just makes life easier now the current enemy being alive giving me attack speed is currently sitting on 26 So oh, there's another loot goblin one come here die Death to trees which is very much an antithesis of, of my <laughs> cryptid run when I was desperately trying to not kill trees. 
which does feel a bit strange. I feel a bit, bit like a barbarian, having spent an entire run being a tree hugger and then going absolutely manic and butchering anything tree related. Uh, don't think I've got lumberjack shirts, so it's not like they're dying in a single hit yet. So, yeah, it could be worse. Uh, don't really need engineering, but I will take a laser turret just for a free laser turret. Ye ooh, uh, mm, mm. Yeah, I'll take the melee damage. I was thinking about the lock. Definitely a consideration there. Okay, so I will take the lure, and I'm going to lock into play all of these three items because the sniper gun because I want a, a tier four one. I want the missile for the increased damage. And I do want the 25% chance to do 9 damage. I think I've got one cyber ball. No, I've got the lonely elephant. Baby elephant. 25% chance. Interesting that you've got two items that do the same thing. But they're both... I mean, can you have multiple? I think they're not unique. So I guess you could have multiples of them. I guess it... I mean, it could also stack off of one another. So I guess that if they, I, if you have four of them, do they then end up giving you four rolls on that 25% or does it become 100%? I don't know. That's one of the curiosities I do have with this game is that some of the, the percentage chance ones, I believe they seem to go, well, you've you've got the number of them. So if there's a 20%, you've got all five of them. Yeah, you, you do stack the 25 um, the the 20 percent to make a hundred but does that always happen and is that always taken into account well we're still murdering lots of enemies and what's our current damage to sitting at 55 uh, percent oh ooh, that that hurt that definitely hurt we've got five loot chests though so that's kind of cool um so and a level up so i was thinking even if i don't level up it's not really the end of the world is it Yes, die, die, die. Now, I do need... Um, don't need that. Yeah, I'll take some of that. No. I do need more armor. Because armor does give me other bonuses at this point. Because of stone skin. And I'm currently sitting at a plus 4 HP. And I would like more. Okay, so we've got three precise weapons. So we do have a 6% increased chance to crit. Critical 39% chance, 22, 29. Okay. I do need to sort of maybe meld them together to make a better one. I still need more um, range damage upgrades. Well, we're murdering things though, which is at least good. And the tier 4 sniper gun is a very worthy choice, I think. It's definitely doing me a lot of bonus damage. And I do have rip and tear, I believe. Yeah, I do. So that's every time something dies. 20% chance to explode for damage. So if I were to increase the explosion damage, I guess that could be a thing. Maybe. So one of the things that I've noticed is, like, I know full well that I'm not exactly, like, the greatest player in the world of Rotato. Because most of the time I just forget that there's the endless mode option and I'll just blaze on through. Because I'm just trying to do every character. Just so you have the feeling of how they all play and then having had the, I've completed it with this character. I think one of the things I will probably do at some point is then really try and see how far can I actually go. Because there's got to be, like... I've seen some people who've got some, like, absurdly, absurdly high levels through in. It's like, oh, wow, that's some impressive nonsense. So, we can see. Now, I've grabbed the explosion size because if the, op if the enemy explodes when they die, and I can increase the explosion size, because that one is a secondary stat, I believe, which affects things like turrets. I mean, that could be pretty effective, I, th I do believe. And again, we're, we're getting a constant tick of HP, we're stealing HP, we're regenerating HP, we're gaining HP from materials and all sorts and wonderful. I do kind of want to make sure my dodge does get up to 60. Look at that, so the explosion there, the, the explosion to the enemies is surprisingly effective. Rip and tear is quite a potent item. I mean, of course, the, the Doom reference is glorious, and it feels very apt when you've got a horde of enemies that just explode and disappear in front of you. 
And the funny thing is, Doom is one of those games that I've not played since the original. Um, I remember installing it from floppy disk. Ooh, okay, so now we're at 58% dodge. I can deal with that. We'll increase the explosion damage. We're going to increase the likelihood of things doing a bang. Oh, yeah, we'll do it again. We'll take the Ghost Scepter and we will buff up one of the claws. And you know what? Let's take the Boxing Gloves. We've got two buffs to knock back, especially considering we took a debuff to knock back. That'll be kind of handy. Yeah, I hate those knobbly bobbly ones. Go away. Just die, your horrible knobbly bobblies. I'm sure they all have like a specific name as as dictated by the creator of the game. And it, I mean, it's the weird things like when you see the names of some of the enemies in games. Like um, having played a lot of Binding of Isaac, some of the enemies in there, I can never remember the names. Oh, the only one I remember is the fact that the poos are called dips. Fair enough, I guess, if that's what they're called. And, you know, the names of the bosses, but that's kind of a given. But I just remember one of my friends being very much convinced that um, one of the enemies was called a penis diglet. Because that's what it looked like to them. So, uh, enemy names out of the way there before we start going down an interesting se segue of like, what? Now, burning activating faster. Yeah, we'll take some of that. We'll take some more explosive damage. Our HP, maybe not. We'll take some ranged damage to bring us back up to zero. And that would be good. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that claw. I'm going to buy that ghost scepter. I am going to take the Master. I know that essentially removes the bonus we literally just gave ourselves. But I will take that Tentacle. Because the increase in crit. So we're at 19%. It's not massive. But if I can get the crit chance up to maybe 50%, that'll probably make most of the weapons that I'm using quite dangerous. Now, the Twin Ghost Scepters is really because I'm trying to build towards a Tier 1 Ghost Scepter. Not Tier 1, sorry. Uh, tier 4 Ghost Scepter. My brain re just reverted to going, yeah, Tier 1, that's the best, right? Durr. But again, a red one. A, a shiny red one, because red ones go faster. That is how that works, right? Paint it red does does better. Anyway, so I'm just going to murderize all of these horrible aliens as they just get in my way, because they're just annoying. Be gone! Go away, heavily armored. Grimmer. Grim, horrible creature. Grim, grim, grim. Ooh, explosions. I'm feeling like Mr. Torg from Borderlands at the moment. Just explosions! Although I do kind of want to play as the very explodey character because that was very entertaining. Okay, capping my HP at 56, but gaining all of those benefits. No, I'm not going to cap my HP this low. I think it's a little too low for it right now. I am going to take more HP regeneration, though, and I will take more of that. More lifesteal. Yep, so we've got quite a lot of lifesteal now, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um... Okay, so I do want that. I do want that. And you know what? I'll take the sad tomato because that'll take me up to like a nice, pretty tasty, nearly 58, um, no, maybe 40, 44 on the HP regeneration. Now, I do wonder how fast that actually will be in the grand scheme of things. But um, I mean, look at that little string. Oh, that was very, very close. Oh, it's those knobbly ones. They've made them harder hitting. Oh, that's really annoying. Go away. No, just stop it. Stop it. Evil, evil creatures. Making all the enemies better. I don't like it. Stop it. It's not allowed. Stop giving them buffs. All the debuffs, that's what I need to do. All the debuffs. Because that's a, one of the things that I have enjoyed playing lots of other games in the past. is like stacking debuffs on enemies, making them like, Aha, you can now do nothing. Enjoy your pain. Not so good when the enemy buffs themselves up a little bit too high and makes themselves better.
better. Right. Uh, mm. Yeah, let's have projectiles piercing. Now, our do dodge is already at max. That's fine. We'll take some damage. Or do we want luck? Let's go with some luck. We will take this small magazine to reduce the damage but increase rate of fire. We'll take a metal detector for, again, lower damage, but increased luck, engineering, and doubling of things. Take the sad tomato, and we do want that scared sausage, because that will take us, I believe, yes, to a 100% chance of setting things on fire, if that is how the stacking works. Okay, so actually, my HP regeneration, I'm curious to see what it actually states about it. Every point two, so I restore four HP a second. That's pretty good, I think. I mean, I wouldn't say no to it being more, but hey, it's it's pretty good. And now that the improved tools that I have improves the um, rate of fire of any of my deployables, so my Tyler and my laser turret, I know it's not really a big thing for this particular run. I might have wasted a little bit of money or, or materials, strictly speaking, on them. But I do really like having the increased rate of fire. It does make a big difference when it comes to the few that you do have. And especially Tyler being able to blast out as much damage as it does, being able to blast out more damage at a higher rate, yeah. I'm, I'm not too upset about that as a concept. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, the enemy is hitting me really hard. There we go. Exploding stuff left, right, and center. So we've got 600. Oh, we've got three. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, let's take some range damage now. So we have more trees. We're going to have scared sausage. We're going to have the alloy because it's going to reduce the dodge, but we can get more dodge later on. That's fine. Um, Let's see how well we do. So there we go. We we're regenerating quick, pretty quickly. And yeah, so it does look like it is anything touched by us is set on fire. Which, you know, seems to be working out quite well. And we've got the turrets going down now. So I wonder how far I'll get through on the endless then. Now that I've selected to roll through on endless mode. I, I was saying that, and I, I'll probably die on this level and not complete it and feel like a right nana. Okay, um, so my damage isn't, strictly speaking, that good still. It's good enough to murder, like, the basic mooks, but it's not really doing that much to the boss, is it? Kind of surprising. Um, hmm... I wonder if there's anything else that I can do to kind of improve on that. Well, not in the next couple of seconds, though, so the wave's over, so that's not really much else I can do on that. That's a shame. Oh, well, so we'll take some range damage and increase the range. Uh, ooh, 30 damage, but minus 3. Yeah, I'll take that, just because. Um, no, nah, it's completely pointless at this point. Uh, ooh, excuse me. I will take that claw, I will take the glasses for the range, and you know what? Some speed and range is good. We will take some coffee for the attack speed. Uh, there's another sniper gun, that could be really handy actually, having a, a pair of sniper guns. Especially if I can combine, if I do actually get to combine the uh, skull scepters, that'll be nice because then a pair of long ranged high damage weapons and just generally making a nuisance of myself is always good. Okay, so that's a lot more dead things. That's great. Go away. Ah, goodness gracious. I'll be glad if no more of those knobbly bobbly ones keep spawning, but they're so annoying. Just go away. Also, the aliens are the three eyes that shoot at you. It's like, ah, you coward. Run, stop running from me. I mean, it looks like they've got three eyes at a glance. They're not exactly staying around long enough for me to actually state that they do or not. And the the tentacle enemy like that, they're very annoying. Because they're quite tanky. I do need to really increase the damage because, yes, I'm doing a lot. But I know the enemies are going to start scaling now. And I really don't want them to scale too much to me. Ooh, let's take some more luck. Right, so we will... Cycle that. We'll take that. And... Uh, ooh, hello. I mean, the minigun's really good. 
but I'm not a melee or sorry, a ranged orientated build, so it's not actually that good for me. But with the the wings, I'll be able to move a lot faster, which would be nice. And of course, look at that, the two sniper guns are just doing absolute mullering of everything. And to combine that with rip and tear, and I think if I got baby with a beard, because that launches a projectile out of each corpse, I mean, that would be a good combo of just exploding death going on. But... At least I'm getting turrets as well, which is kind of helping a bit. And with the increase in attack speed that I'm trying to get a little bit of, it will make them fire just faster. And that's really all I can hope for at this stage in the game. Now, I know that my harvesting is going to get slowly lowered um, the further we go in. So it is going to become harder to afford things. So that is kind of a cursed thing with this. Fair enough, though. But I am worried that if I have a negative harvesting, then I will lose money. Because that's how that works, and that's not good. Okay, so we will take some speed engineering, but negative crit chance. Yeah, we'll take it for now. We will take that one. Okay, so we want the wings. We want the whetstone. Yeah, I do want that. And I guess that's it really right now. Okay, so we've still got a minus 3% attack speed for each different weapon. So we're at minus 12% attack speed. So if I can start melding weapons together at least, that's kind of what I'm after. Maybe I can start, like, having... I want to get a better Ghost Axe. That's really what I'm looking at at the moment, is if I can get the, the Ghost Axe to tier f um, 4 and then just have multiples of them and like just a minus three I could deal with I guess that would work I'm not sure how effective that would honestly be but we can give it a try but at least I can say for now other than the the tier five difficulty uh, difficulty five whatever you want it, it's called I've unlocked and done everything and with the tier five difficulty run we'll have our final character unlocked which is pretty exciting I think I'm curious to see what they are like now I'm also curious to see what the item that the masochist will unlock as hey who knows it's possibly um, something very unusual and very different and a lot of the characters have come out with some very unusual things so certainly a possibility there we go, there's Baby with a beard. Now, of course, it's based on ranged damage, so I do actually need to start buffing up the ranged damage a bit, don't I? Not super difficult, I don't think, but... Eh, we'll give it a go. Okay, so with the Baby with the beard, that'll do some more exploding damage. Especially along with those bullets. Yes. Oh, goodness gracious, I forgot about those horrible, spidery-looking, stabby majiggeries. You know, thingamajigs. Um, they're so very horrible, aren't they? Please, be, be gone. Although, to be fair, thingamajig is genuinely one of my favourite words, but not in English, in German. I was taught that it was dingsbums, and um, the amount of times I've used it when I've been in Germany, when I've forgotten the actual word for something, and it says, okay, like, nein, nein, du, du weißt, was ich mein, ähm, das, das Dingsbums. And it gives me a couple of, it's like, seconds while they process that there's a very English man <laughs> speaking in odd German. <laughs> and this is where I find out that it's not actually German, and it's all a bunch of hokum and nonsense. And then what I've been doing is saying random stuff. Which, in honesty, when I first started learning German, my uncle, who'd being stationed in um, in Germany post World War Two as part of his, the military police, he told me that the Germans called white uh, wiper blades uh, das flippen floppen, and he was always known as a bit of a joker. So thankfully, I didn't take it too seriously, unlike my poor younger sibling, who did state to his German teacher that that was clearly the word for. Wiper blades. That was wrong. <laughs> to be fair, though, I don't actually know what. Ah, oh, so I'm dead. Okay, so. 
We've now unlocked a spiky shield. Oh, it's quite... Oh. It's an armor weapon thing, and its damage is based on your armor. Intriguing. It does increase your armor because it's medieval, and it's blunt, which also improves your armor. That could be quite a curious thing to see when I actually get a chance to get one. Well... I will bid you all a fond farewell. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching me die as a masochist. And uh, a big shout out thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. And uh, hopefully I will, if you have enjoyed, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will hopefully catch you all again the next time. The Walrus Plays. Brotato.